Welcome back, everybody. Ross here with more Tears of the Kingdom. And, um, so, I was going to start doing the, um, new course at Terrytown. But I remembered the, um, storage shed that was blocked off and Ronson couldn't get open or get into. And it was like, is something blocking it from the inside? So, obviously, you know, there's got to be an underground, a cave or something that connects to Terrytown that you can ascend upwards. So while I was making my way over there, I was keeping my eye on the cliffs and stuff, and as I started gliding down, I noticed this hole in the very pillar that Terrytown rests on. So now here we are. Oh, also I bought the snow quill tunic and did some upgrading. And also, oh boy, to upgrade the uh, champion's tunic, that's going to be difficult. How in the world am I supposed to get that? Um, I'm going to need to take some chunks off of Zelda. You ever just casually take pieces off your girlfriend slash wife? Also, I sold a bunch of bright blooms again. Since I was full again and they refill fast. This, yeah, actually seems to have me directly underneath it. So, here we go. Of course, it'd be one of Hudson's stupid sights. There's so many of them. Plus six. Wait, what did I just do? I could have sworn I was highlighting the Master Sword. What just happened? Alrighty then. But okay. <laughs> Hudson Cutout gives plus six. That's pretty silly. I love it. There we go. <laughs> the Master President Sword. Oh, thank you. Not being open that being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So a cutout was blocking it? Well, I appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move these out back so they can't go and block the door again. <laughs> open, damn you. <laughs> Phew, that should do it. Ah. Ah, there we go. Ah, that lid was that cap was on there. They're a bit dang banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them, too. How the fuck did you get in there? <laughs> oh, he creates wind gusts. That's silly. Snow quilt tunic, now I have cold resistance gear for each slot. So now I can have cold immunity and freeze immunity with the Xant helmet. I also somehow missed a well at the construction site before. It's what connected to that room underground that had all the devices in it. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a good look at this. With the help of Hudson Construction, we built a course for test-driving vehicles. 
These runs will help us better research the steering stick's capabilities. So welcome to the Terrytown race. <laughs> with Tally as our test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design, and we arrived at this masterpiece. Oh. Watching you drive the course was very informative. I'm grateful. Sock so. Mm. Drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data we need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. Now if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. Ah. While you're at it, why not spice things up with a little competition, say you versus Tally? She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes, you know. If you can beat her best time, well, then you win. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, Tally's best time is two minutes exact. So how about it? Want to see if you can beat Tally's record? Yeah. Woohoo! I apologize, I got excited. I can't help but woo and hoo when I get excited. <laughs> Once you've readied the vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick we have prepared. Since it'll be helping us collect data, any Zonai device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything is ready. Can't wait to see you race. Does that thing just... No. It's not powered, it just rolls downhill. Got it. I mean, simple is best, right? How do you handle? Attaching it would help. Turns like ass cheeks. For the chance to beat her record, huh? I can see it on your face. <laughs> Once you've readied, go ahead and attach the steering stick we've prepared. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Connecting that specific stick will, uh. <laughs> Alright, looks good. Oh. Ready to begin? Staring sticks all set up. Good to go. Mm. Let's see. First, I'll activate the switch for the course. Hey. Let me explain again. Tally's record is two minutes exactly. You touch all the lights and return here in that time. Don't take your hands off the stick once you've grabbed it or go too far off course. On your mark. <laughs> Two minutes? What the hell was she using? I didn't miss it. Did I? Oh. Jesus, Tally, you suck. Ooh. Can't believe it. You actually broke Tally's record. Here. This is my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data. Who'd have thought a Vogue could race like that? Alright, I'll say it. That was some brilliant driving. 
<clears throat> Your mastery at the steering stick was impressive. Well done. Well, 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 how about that? It's not often Tally has so much to say. Seems like our next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. After seeing how you optimized your racing line, I feel like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You and I should talk. Come see me later, will you? <laughs> Thing I wanted to talk about is, well, you'll see. Operating expenses for this Terrytown race are a bit tight. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is... Ah. We're now going to charge an entry fee of 10 rupees per run. Exciting news, isn't it? Thrilling, even. Yes? No? Sorry, perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It is a difficult announcement to make, and I can see that giving it a cheery spin did not help. But still, we have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying, even if you do have to pay a fee. And of course, I'll reward you if we're able to get good data. So I'm confident it'll be well worth the 10 rupees. If you'd like, try it all right away. Be helping close to collect data, yada yada yada. Alright, let's see what you got, girl. Fantastic. Those are the words I wanted to hear. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. Let's get started. Uh. Let's see. Switch is... Oi. All right. The time to beat is three minutes. Touch every light. Get back here before time runs out. Don't let go. Don't wander off. On your marks. <laughs> I will drift. See how I could have did that better. <laughs> Can I just put more wheels on this thing? <clears throat> Congratulations! Can't believe you cleared the expert course. Should have expected as much from a Vo Tally respects. Here, please. Want you to have this memento for beating it for the first time. What are you going to do now? Feel like giving it another go? Please, come back and drive it again sometime. So, 10 rupees for a large charge. Okay. You think there's a Korok up there? Actually, I think I can see a rock. From here. The draw distance is so much better than Breath of the Wild. Gotta give this game that. All right, I put a battery on the Master Sword for whatever the hell that will do. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. <laughs> eh. All right, I don't think there was anything else I was too keen on right now. The floor of Cape Kales overlooking the sea. Oh, right. I wanted to get the, um, <clears throat> the tower for this region. The Nakluta Tower. That's what was on my to-do list.
Man, you can like s kind of see maybe a bit of the indent where it was. Ah, well. Okay, we gotta get to the top of this bitch. So here we go. Mountain climbing. Oh, right. And didn't I get one of um, Nadra's claws so I can activate the spring? Let's just leave Farosh if he would... She would show up in a fucking convenient spot, damn it. Still can't believe I have to farm materials from Zelda to upgrade the champion tunic. Ridiculous. And a bit fucked up. Yeah, Zelda, don't mind. I'm just gonna take some chunks off you real quick. charge first. Okay, made it. Whew. Oh, fuck off. This is about to break. Right, I have two Gloom Spears on me, don't I? Yeah. Well, what should I put on this one? Another Black Boko Horn? Or... Thirty-one. Thirty-seven. Twenty-six. I mean, if I'm gonna have a weapon that's fucking sucking my life, I might as well make that shit. Ooh, thirty-two. Also, that just looks like it'll look cool on it. Fucking gloom scythe. Okay, this looks sick as fuck, right? Or am I just a dork? Seventy two, god damn. Cuz use this damn thing for a bit. Since my health is fucked up now a bit, anyways. Huh. 
So will this just not hurt me at all? Let's find out. No. Complete immunity. Hell yeah. Eat it, bitch. You little turds. Good enough. Oh, right. I'm immune to freeze. I can just yeet. Yeah, the gloom stuff's good when you've already taken some damage. Ooh, Zelda. I, I need some stuff from you, sweetie. I don't want to fuck with the one that's got a flamethrower. Like, she just flies all around all of Hyrule, huh? Rather than kind of, like, set regions. She's just all over the damn place. Which, uh... Definitely make getting to her a little difficult. I need to hurry my ass. I'll talk to you later. Ah, uh, since it's a quest. Hi. My name is Nasmi. I'm a treasure hunter and adventurer extraordinaire, undaunted by even the coldest snow. This area is frozen solid and packed with monsters. No one in their right mind would set foot here, ah. except me, of course. There surely must be treasure resting here on this mountain where everyone else fears to tread. That's what drove me to travel all this way to Mount Laneru. Until I saw you, I really thought I'd be the only one. You must be here for the same reason as I am. And if you are, you'll be wanting to know what I know about the treasure. The truth is, by sheer luck, I overheard a legend relating to the treasure on this mountain while I was on my way here. I knew I was a genius for assuming there was treasure on Mount Laneru. Do you want to hear it too? Great, then listen up. For I am Nasby, the treasure hunter with nothing to hide. The legend goes like this. Skim across snow, from spring high in the heavens to the mountain below. Pass through the rings of light to see the light of blessing. What do you think? That was the real legend of a real treasure passed down on this very mountain. And you know what? With a name like Light of Blessing, it's got to be worth a bundle. I suspect the spring high in the heavens is referring to these springs. Treasure is as good as found. Oh, all except for the finding it part. I don't know what to do with the rings of light bit. I don't see anything like that around here. But I won't give up, because you see? I am Nasby, the Dauntless Treasure Hunter. Not to be confused with my noble speed, my noble steed, Dauntless. Devout swordsman offers his prayers. Will you help me to restore the Mother Goddess statue? Seek the blue spirit Nadra, who ch chills the air around her as she dances across the heavens. When you have gained Nadra's claw, offered it this spring. Please, I beg this of you. Now, where is it? Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. There is one last goddess statue who guards the spring as I do. For the sake of the Mother Goddess statue, I ask that you assist her as well. Yeah, I just gotta fucking find a good spot to shoot Farosh. I am trying, sweetie. She ain't making it easy. So all the dragons are girls, confirmed.
new map and a new way to get into the damn air. Is that the final diving trial? I can, uh, get the last piece of the glide set. The diving set, whatever it's called. <sighs> map updated. Sky map also updated. Oh, it is called the glide stuff. Glide set. Where did she go? She was flying around this side, huh? Oh, did I lose her? Oh, wait, no, there she is. Baby girl, I'm just, I just need to take a little piece off you, real quick. Actually, I need several. Do you have spikes shards as well? Yes, you do. Shard of the Light Dragon Spike. Very destructive. Also imbues the weapon with healing power. riding Zelda. Don't mind me. This game's wild. In addition to the gems, do the dragons Spike shards also go good with the magic rods. Just thought of that. Okay, scale. That's what I need, but I need two of them. That fell from the light dragon. It's faintly warm and oddly has an oddly familiar feel. It does it now. So, how long until I can get another one off you? Later, girl. There's Zora's domain over there. Big pile of shit there. Plot! That one a wheel. And prioritize the shrine. Another fast travel point's always good.
at least the beep of the radar isn't nearly as grating in this game. Apogek Shrine. Wings on the way. mine. Just gonna grab this. Mighty Zonite Spear. This is easy to reach. Nothing's about to break, huh? Gotta be a good use for it. flat ground. Okay, stick you on the... No. Okay, that should work, right? So I'm realizing I have like, what, 17 hearts I think I counted? So, it goes over 15 in a row now. Does it go to 20 a row? Can we get up to 40? Derg. Ugh. <coughs> 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 
Oh god, excuse me. Oh, I'm dying. Right, fire rod. Where'd you go? There you are. Has it just saved her position? Or like, did going in and out of the shrine maybe reset her so I can get another scale? I mean, I'm about to find out. She's still looking very not glowy. Yeah, I don't think it. Okay, I do have to actually be patient. Yeah, okay. Damn, no cheese. Fine. I'll be a good boy. And wait. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these islands. Got some, uh... Interesting looking ones. piece and also it will probably have a shrine I mean the other two had I can't see why this one won't cool Crystal connected to the beam, offer it, do so, and I will grant you the light that banishes evil. Alright, the South Lanero Crystal. That looks ominous. Burp. We got in you. <laughs> Frost emitter, blast freezing air, handy for slowing and defeating monsters. Mirror. Focuses and reflects light, can provide powerful long-distance illumination that can even ward off some monsters. Interesting. New gadgets. And I 
That's everything we can get from that. Ah! Thank you, thank you. Bird! Okay, they're not all gold. That was just very lucky, I guess. Good use of a super powerful spear that sucks souls. You've already found the treasure shown on this map. Okay, I was wondering if that could happen. Or if it's like maybe the map just despawns if you've already... Nope. This 
one seems a bit wobbly. That's how I used the Master Sword. Nope. Anything else of interest in here? Doesn't seem to be. other things. Oh, well, if it gives me a steering stick. Actually, Auto build. Wait. Cease. You're Tom Fuckery. Come on. Off. All right, and before I enter another goatsy, because this can be useful. Interesting. And is there anything really catching my eye around here? It's that tiny island over there. Well, that went poorly. <clears throat> mm. 
Give me my orb. Oh, you're not a freebie. The ice guides you. Is this about to be what I think it is? Are we doing ice lab bowling? Fuck yeah, I'm amazing. Ah, here's the one for the chest. ones if you Damn, I'm good. Why is it always equipment? Make it rupees or materials. Same thing I can fucking keep. Frame rate, you okay? Okay. bit over here. I'll check it out. Never did. Might be some interesting things. I want another little flying device. Oh, 
also my first time seeing a regular hardy radish. Sacrificed a heart to kill a bird, hell yeah. Sundalliance to grab here. Good place if you need them. <laughs> Alright, that's enough faffing about here. We got <laughs> springs, balloons, troll pads, beam emitter. Hell yes. Finally, lasers. Are you a challenger? I guess not. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, just a kleptomaniac then. Got it. How do you do? It is good to see we still get dive ceremony challengers this late at night. Will you start the ceremony? I am eager to see your courage on display. Very well. We should start with the trial run of the course. There is no limit. Relax and get a feel for it. Be sure to pass through all the rings. I will guide you to starting position. Please seek authorization at the terminal. Our island. Stuff. Loot. I desire it all. Oh, that one's Makatama. It's one of the stones. That's what that geoglyph is. Oh, it's so foggy. I definitely did them in order from easiest to hardest.
Well done. Thank you for doing a trial run of the course. I am pleased to see that you completed it safely. I think the time is right to begin the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? I must ask one thing before we begin. Please offer one zone I charge. Then I will guide you to the starting position. Please pass through within 35 seconds. Hell yeah. Your time is 23.51 seconds. I do not recall ever seeing a faster time than that. First things first. I have here the proof of your maturity. You have earned it. The Glide Mask. Many have participated in the ceremony in this island. You showed that you have courage surpassing them all. This is to commemorate your incredible record. You have earned it. Would you kindly tell me your name? I ask so that I can register you as the record holder. Understood. Your name is Link. I have registered you as the record holder. Will you attempt the ceremony once more? I am excited for your next attempt. Farewell. So nothing for the record for all three? Aw. Now time to see what the set bonus is, if there is one. See a Shrine. <laughs> Noise. Four, three. Three, okay. Still need another. Well, there's definitely a damn another shrine. Yeah, he said the treasure was supposed to be a light of blessing, so that's definitely a shrine on Mount Lanayru. Wherever the fuck it is. All right. Now what? God, I've had that shrine shark marked for how many episodes? How long now? Well, good as time as any to get that. It's like both silly and cool. So, after 
Ganondorf fucked everything. Because I think I saw all this, got all the scenes from before he did, huh? King Raru. We just received word that the lost free village in the Gerudo Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. There's something I'd like to show you all. <laughs> so the Guru do not accept Ganondorf as their leader anymore after he went uh, fucking full demon mode? Stand with me. I need all your aid. Original champions are born. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, it, it ruins it. Oh, God. Oh, wait, was that the last one? Oh, I really shouldn't be wearing a goofy fucking mask for this. Dragon's Tear. You visited all 11 geoglyphs and witnessed all the memories and the tears. Afterwards, a light dragon appeared above you and shed a new tear. The tear seems to have fallen on Rist Peninsula in the Aqua region. Oh shit. I didn't realize this was the last one. Nine, ten, eleven. The dragon's tears don't. Okay, so some other scenes are. <laughs> sorry, slash not sorry. Shrine somewhere around here. So 
So they were literal dragon tears. I kind of guessed. Oh my God, to become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. The tears contain her memories. Is she literally crying out her memories? Like, she's losing them and shedding them that way. Oh, man. hide from me, did you? Addison, who is gonna see an advertisement here? Oh my god, bro. For real. For real. Need some kind of support, or it's still gonna fall over. It's still too top heavy. How do I keep the tree from going over? Oh, fuck off. Ganondorf, if you like cross-dressing, enjoy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You're beautiful. But it's totally not cool of you to pretend to be my girlfriend. That part, not cool. Well, that is not okay. okay. Yeah, this, this is going to work. This is going to weigh it down. Hmm. Fuck it. YOLO! No fucking way. Okay. I need to have more faith in good old-fashioned logs. <laughs> but seriously, who is going to see this sign? Cave. 
Okay, there's not a Lionel here wanting to fuck up my shit. So, safer than Breath of the Wild here. for now. Just keep throwing arrows in here. I'll take them. The water's just going up and down. Nani. Seems like I might need this. <laughs> Feels like there should be something here for me to put in the water to, um, float on. Does not appear to be the case. Low durability on. Right, I saw this equipped. Oops. Another one down. Huck! 
Yamadook Shrine. Crap. Crap! 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 Thanks for the freebie. Dragon Tear, duh. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything of interest in that little island out there. Gotta be a Korok at least. Take the silly shit off. You know what? Let's just go kind of normal for this. There we go. Let's not ruin another dramatic, emotional moment. God, the Mask of Swords scene was so fucking stupid. The problem with character customization. Alright, let's go see what the final tier has to show us. say something when I was here like it looked like there was kind of almost an indent in the ground there I wasn't imagining it, it must have been this but it wasn't covered up very well at the time
All right. What crazy revelation is it going to be that I haven't already figured out? This is going to be the Zelda is the dragon thing. It's like, no, shit. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. She mentioned that she could separate her spirit from her body. That was her power. So her soul is in the poor pad? Now that I didn't see coming. Link, I will restore the Master Sword for Breath you. Breath of the Wild theme. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. It's a pretty decent sized pill to swallow. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Even if I figured it out forever ago, that's a good. That was a good scene. Oh. Man, that Forbidden Dragon ritual is uh, pretty easy, huh? <laughs> I mean, if you can get that damn thing down. <laughs> Whoa, all the silent princesses.
You finally found her, boy. So, uh, now what? Tears of a Dragon. That was literally immediately after she got it. What happened in between? After leaving the Pora Pad in Minoru's care, Zelda swallows the secret stone, holding a hope for Link's future in her heart. As bright light washes over her, Zelda transforms into the Light Dragon, roaring as she ascends to the sky. Tears fall from her eyes and rain from the heavens as the Light Dragon vanishes into an expanse of clouds. Actually, it looked like she went into the Pora Pad, but... But no, those constructs are all autonomous. There's no reason why that one... Oh my god. Do these respawn? Oh. Oh. You know, what does cooking these do? I've never made the attempt. visited all the Glegeoglyphs and witnessed all the memories within the tears. These visions showed you Zelda sacrificing herself to become the Light Dragon, hoping to eventually entrust the Master Sword to you. You must honor her wish. Somehow. Is Impa still at Goron City? Or any other towns? Maybe she returned to Kakariko once this is over. Ooh, or maybe back to the Forgotten Temple? Maybe a good place to check now that this is done. I don't even remember where her and what's his name, Kato, I think, were hanging out here. Oh uh, yeah, what if I go to Pora with this uh, wacky news? I found her. Welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. Mm -hmm. Thanks to your help, it's come clear as day there's a connection between Zelda and the upheaval. Great work, Linky. Mm -hmm. Or things are more serious. You need to hurry up to the remaining regions and soon. Check it. Keep me posted. By the way, is that the tunic the princess made? Glad to see it made its way back to you. It suits you. We're not gonna tell her, are we? Okay, Link. Whatever. <laughs> Jerry just watching and enjoying the show. Like, mmm, he got a nice ass. Oh, 
Okay, uh, shit, now what? Oh yeah, I never checked that out. Hop into that chasm and see what we find in it. into the horrors. Sure, a stick is fine. Pardon. Well, I've gotten spoiled on the fire temple boss if I just come here first. Maybe it doesn't appear until you've done the fire temple? Is this just like so you can refight the bosses if you want to? Is there any reason to? Let's just do anything. It looks like there's a treasure chest it's guarding. Well, that wasn't on my bingo card. Throw hands, yes? The master stick! Alright, Goma rematch! Not expected. Nobu, kill! Scour to the depths, go! Huh? 
So you don't have a ceiling to climb on this time. You're just gonna start doing the cage thing. Get some defense so I don't eat as much shit when it throws me off the second time. But now I got it since it's not on the ceiling, I have to take down two legs again. I'm hurt. Nice. Is there a Colgara somewhere down here? <laughs> Goma's leg. <laughs> okay, well, this fucking sword is ridiculous now. Okay, just a battery upgrade for beating it. Cool. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Is another place like that? Is are those boss rematch arenas? Shit, and I will investigate all of those. Oh my god, come on. I forgot to turn you back on. Well, that was fucking insane. Well, not really, but very unexpected. I do like when games let you refight bosses, so I'm pretty cool with this development. Struggle and death can be used as a weapon, but it's brittle. You can feel it wiggling on your back.
some assholes. Sora statue. Let's do another temple. Well, 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 that was the Colosseum. Yeah, I'm curious about these now. But if there wasn't anything at any of the ones I've been to already, then there won't be, right? Unless the fucking Death Mountain monster also somehow has another version of it. I'm not sure how a rematch with that thing would work. And that's supposed to be Rito? Alright, it's got this weird crap on the ground. And there was that place I saw with, um... The sand and the pulsing things that was at Kara Kara Bazaar. So that was probably a rematch arena for whatever the Garuda region boss is. Isn't Zora's domain like infected by poison or something? Someone said. This looks like poisonous sludge, but it doesn't really seem to be hurting me. And you can also see there's like sludgy crap raining on Zora's domain from the sky. Is this rematch arena for the Zora boss? I do believe that is the situation. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. And can I presume that Goma will be back after the next Blood Moon? So that I can fight it just for fun and also legs. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's like sandy mushrooms with those creepy pulsing bits. Like I said, I can't remember if, if it was on camera when I came through here or not. I don't think it was. Or was that when I lost my footage? <gasps> that was when I lost my footage, because yeah, I was in this area when that happened. That's it. Okay, okay. I found any more of these. That looks like a legit Coliseum. There's Goma. This is Gerudo. Presumably Zora Boss. There's one over here. Could that be Colgara? Would it just summon an updraft the whole time? Maybe there's a fan under the arena giving one? Because I don't see how you'd fight it otherwise. Oh man, this game gets wilder and wilder. Okay, well I hop down that hole to activate the light route and just take a look around and holy shit. Now it's time to jump into this one. Yeah, if using anything increases durability, so... Even if it's garbage, just slap something on there. across the snow from spring high in the heavens to the mountain below. But rings of light. Wow, there was a lot in there. Alright. 
You can't climb these anymore. They actually added, like, ice physics. Sort of-ish. So you can't just climb these ice pillars like you could before. Maybe I have to fulfill the goddess statue's request first and maybe she activates some bullshit? I don't know. I'm spitballing here. Alright, into the scary hole. Field Castle. Well, if that's one of the flux things, there is a boss in here. Is that a Giga Base? Both eight. Yeah, it looks like lamps. There's some vegan douchebags over there. You can probably steal, steal, steal another schematic from them. Skill. Oh dear. I may have made a blunder. God, what do I find more of this? Not a disaster. Oh gosh, light root. All right, time to slap some booties. Thing again. God, why did even their horn sound fucked up down here? Penis alert. Okay, so two shrines around there somewhere.
Will light rings start appearing if I just start shredding? that durability back thank you all right there's something that needs to be activated somehow Zelda. Which one is that? anything up here so it's something hidden whatever it is but yeah the radar did start to react right as I approached the chasm oh fuck that yeah you have fun Just mark purple. Bug tell you I was in danger? You came to rescue me just in time. Huh? Here, it's one of my favorite foods. Would you take some of thanks for helping me? Hi. I where? I've been wandering all throughout Hyrule collecting bugs. Are you perhaps also a fan of insects? Mm -hmm. Honestly, how could you not be? From their beautiful wings paired to their tough exoskeletons. What perfect creatures! Oh, I've got it. As thanks for your help, let me give you my knowledge of all things insecta. That's the science you need for bugs. <laughs> You're traveling around Hyrule too, so such wisdom will help you find all sorts of bugs in your journey. Okay, let's start with the basics. Uh... I'm sure you know that Hyrule has warm regions and cold regions, right? Well, just like most folks, our different buggy friends prefer different climates depending on their needs. So warm regions like Elden are often home to summer wing butterflies and warm darners. Meanwhile, cold darners and winter wing butterflies prefer cold regions like Hebra. <laughs> So you see, if you know what kind of bugs live where you're heading, it makes the journey that much more fun. <laughs> and that's it for Dr. Waiter's Insect Crash Course. Hope we meet again somewhere soon. Which it 
gives you altitude as well, so... That's an improvement over the sensor in Breath of the Wild. So I need to find a cave. I think prep you with plenty of peppers. Before you head into there, if you come through the road. Yes, yes, I found you. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Didn't a lady in Hatano say that there's, um, a cave near Fort Hatano that has, uh, good shit? Fort Hatano cave. Did I find an outfit piece in there? I can't remember. I don't think I did. Oh, hello, Satan. Fuck off, Satan. Upgrade and it'll be stronger. Well, even. And since it doesn't count as metal or wood, it has no weaknesses. I need to remember where I found Lionels and go beat some of them up. upgrade this barbarian set and then go pick a fight with some blue ones Actually, I think I remember where I saw a blue one or was that a white one at that spot I'm trying to remember it was by a cave on the beach but didn't go there because I was preoccupied with something else this damn cave. Huh. 
Daddy needs his peace of heart. Sword something good. my prize. Let's see, I've got yeah, that's thirty one, I've got ten of them. Click. Why not give Ganondorf's weapons, you know, <laughs> the most powerful of his monster pieces? God dang, that's power. Okay, maybe the cave is somewhere around this area. Oh, I want to hurry up because. Zelda's approaching the tower, so I can get to her again. Maybe launch back up. And slap her ass to get another scale, so I can upgrade the tunic. I should have just ignored those guys. Maybe the cave is like over here and then runs all the way, because some of them are pretty meaty, you know? Nope. 
this asshole all the way up top. Yeah, I'm gonna go hit those since there was a rare one in it. Followed me over here, huh? Bitch. Hold still. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Zelda's long gone. Always the same item loadout. These horrible camps too. Yeah, yeah. Four bright bloom seeds, a bright cap, a piece of raw meat, and then a giant bright bloom seed. It's always the fucking same. Some animal make a noise outside. That's the same damn like tapping of bugs hitting the window. Man, they really want in here. Some fucking dead cat. That's clearly not the current problem I'm dealing with. Because they wouldn't be that loud. Them hitting the window wouldn't make a damn sound. Okay, I did take a picture of you. Take salt. Let me turn this off because I found it. I need to get my ass up there. Picture from my compendium. Thank you. 
All right, that was a fight. The spoils of war. <laughs> Mitch. Get our asses in that shrine. Oh right, I forgot. I have a battery upgrade to cash in. I should do that. Hey, I think it'll be the um, completion of the next cell, huh? Got two cutting heavy weapons. So I definitely want to make this a smasher, which all varieties of horrible and horns do that, right? Six. Is that the Royal Sword's base power in Breath of the Wild? You know, before the decay? Getting here was the trial. Man, if the shrines didn't heal you, I might have popped that right now.
you're wondering why I never, like, just scarf food in the middle of fights, it's because I don't like doing it during fights. In between, okay, but once a fight started, like, it was just so cheesy in Breath of the Wild. Like, man, I just carry 5,000 pieces of food and just pause and instantly eat and heal. It, it removes a lot of the damn tension. So I made a rule in Breath of the Wild, and I'm carrying it over to this game. When I'm in a fight... The food pouch does not open. So, just in case you've been wondering that. Oh, right. It's swippery in here because we're underwater. The ceiling's drippy. The frog deity. Couldn't I see another path? Isn't that the way I came in? Yeah, it's like going deeper. Where was the entrance? Yeah, over here. And this goes up north. Is this leading? Oh, just outside. It's my current weapons. Right, this isn't at full durability. I've used some of it, so. Bitch! Interesting. If there's anything up there. Easy way up the mountain, I guess. Oh, that's Kakariko Village where that chasm is. Maybe I should hit up Kakariko next. Hmm. Once 15 regions have been mapped. Alright, he wants a picture of a battle talus. The Oculus Span. Could go there, it's not too far. Oh right, I completely forgot about the Fort Hatano crew. Need to find a guy with a dro So he's there? Oh, where you find Hestus Maracas. Originally. Okay, Typhoon Ruins. Stone Tablets. Go to Kakariko Village. Yeah, I got a lot, of, a lot happening in Kakariko. Master Koga. High Spring and the Light Rings. I need to find these Light Rings. And find these Water Keys. Pirates. Kill a Mulduga. 
statue in the Temple of Time. Oh, right, the geoglyph next to the stable. I just gotta find somewhere where I can get a shot of the whole thing. Swirly sand. Oh, yeah. The cave by Lake Verona. Cape Kales overlooking the Nakluta Sea. All right, the eight heroines shine the light of day on the towering eighth. Isn't that the one that's removed from the other? Yeah, that's the Nakluta Sea. I don't think any of these are Cape Kales. If it's mentioning pirates, I'm going to assume it's close to the Loreland Village. Maybe I should go finally save that shithole. Heavy. Oh, right. Lady wanted a Lionel Horn weapon. Or wanted to see one. Loon. I completely forgot about you. <laughs> Absolutely forgot. Ugh. Wants a picture of the ring ruins in Kakariko. Summit of Tuft Mountain, southeast of the stable, during the sunrise. Right, the three giants by the waterfalls, people missing in Guru Canyons, Malome Labyrinth, 29 wells to find, and Goddess of Courage, because I can't get fucking scale from the stupid fucking dragon. Cause she won't get her fucking ass close enough for me to fucking shoot her. Bitch. Okay. Decisions, decisions, decisions what to do. Even though it's not... I feel like Kakariko is still probably really important, huh? Even though it's not, like, listed as main quest. Because... I think we've done enough wandering. I should probably get some more story in. Though I could probably get to Gr Sora's Domain easily now. I've already started dipping my toes to the Gerudo Desert. Maybe I should just go... Oh, oh god, I can't decide. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna think on this and also go to sleep. So, that does it for another episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Until next time, everybody, you all have a great evening, and take care of yourselves. Good night.